Hey, what's up, YouTube? Honest Bigums here for the grand finale of my Mega Man 2 Let's Play. I originally played this stage, you know, recording for this uh, Let's Play, and I ran into some technical difficulties, so now I gotta play through this stage again utilizing a password system. It was pretty lame because I had to go through each individual level of the Wily Tower again, so that kind of pissed me off, not gonna lie to you. And at a fit of a rage, I discovered that there's safe states. Yeah, go figure, safe states. So what I'm going to do is I am going to save the game before I tackle each of these uh, bosses because this final level is a uh, it's a boss rush. So you know, lucky me, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select a weapon. We are going to save, which is. Awesome. I really wish I'd known this feature was available during uh, my Zelda 2 review. That would have really helped me complete the game a lot faster. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so up first is Crash Man. He's weak against Air Man's weapon, so... Alright, and that was easy. You didn't get to see it that time, but every time you defeat one of these robot masters for the second time, they drop a uh, health recovery item, a big one, so it really helps. I kind of wish they would have dropped a uh, E-Tank, but beggars can't be choosers. So next up, we're going to take off Bubble Man. Once again, his weakness is Metal Man's weapon, so he is. Oh yeah, and their strategies do not change whatsoever, so you just take them out. Pick up their weapon and go. I know I forgot to save that time, but I'm going to this time. The reason I'm doing this is because Dr. Wily is kind of a bitch, so I'm uh, trying to hold on to I'm trying to hold on to my uh, lives as much as possible. All right, so this guy's weak against Heat Man. That's what safe states are for. Alright. But yeah. Woodman is weak against Heatman's weapon if you can charge it up all the way. You just gotta be better with it. Like, I I was focusing on talking again, so I got distracted. So, if I stop talking, just, just know I'm not trying to be a boring Let's Player. I'm just trying to, you know, get through this so I can, you know, beat the game and move on to the next one, you know? Alright, cool, so Woodman is down. Let's take his health recovery item. Thank you very much. Alright, so up next... Up next we got Airman. He's weak against Woodman's weapon, so let me just put that weapon out. Alright, so once again, that was easy, and I completely forgot to save again, so let me go ahead and save. Because, yeah, like I said, I'm trying to get through all these robot masters without dying, so, or, yeah, without dying. Alright, so up next is Heat Man. This guy is a bitch. Safe state. So let's go and whip out Bubble Man's weapon again. Alright, and he's down for the count. We're good to go. Recover that health through the portal. Alright. So let's take on this guy up here, but first, of course, let's save. Yeah, you could call this cheating, but I don't care. I, I, I don't. You know, I, this isn't the 90s or 80s whenever this game was made anymore, and I really could give no shit. So let's go ahead and whip out the... Oh, so this guy is weak against... 
What is he weak against? I believe it's hooked. Nope, he is immune to it. Uh, let's go with air. He's immune to that too. Alright, he's down. Grab his uh, health recovery item. Good to go. Go ahead and save again. Alright, so next robot master is Metal Man. And funny, he's actually weak against his own weapon, which I think is just absolutely hilarious. Alright, so up last, last but not least, we have. I have a text. Uh, up last, we have uh, uh, Quick Man. His weakness is Flash Man's weapon, so you just use that on him. Once he, uh, once your, uh, once your time stop weapon runs out, you whip out Air Man's weapon and fuck his day up. Okay, well. Fuck his day up, yeah, but fuck. Alright, so that's cool. Just load the save state. You're good to go. Ah, I forgot to I forgot to do that, so. Oh well, I gotta beat Metal Man again. No big deal. Alright, and he's dead. So pick up his uh, health recovery item and break out Flash Man's weapon. Let's go again. I forgot to save again. It's okay, I'll just create a restore point. Alright. Once again, his health is just... Yeah, if you have, if you have full Flashman uh, weapon, it'll... Uh... Alright, so yeah, if you have full Flashman weapon, it'll take his health down halfway, and from there you can use Airman to fuck his day up after that. So... Alright, so up next is Dr. Wily himself. So once again, we will create a restore point. Alright, so yeah, if you get a game over in here at Dr. Wily, you have to fight all the Robot Masters again. So that's exactly why I did that save state crap. So yeah, here's Dr. Wily. This is the first stage of him. He's a pain in the ass, believe me. <sighs> See what I mean? So... Now, I'm not gonna use the save state because I want to go ahead and fight Dr. Wily with full health. You know, they say, they say that Crash Man's weapon is his weakness, but if that's the case, I don't see it. Okay, so it's not Quick Man. It's not Wood Man. It's not Air Man. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just load the save state right back to where I was. Yeah, my health sucks, but I mean, whatever. Another uh, tip that I learned is that... Another tip I learned is that if you pause just before you take a hit, the, uh, the hit will just go right through Mega Man, but it's pretty hard to time, so... It's not something I recommend doing often. Or trying to do often, at least. So now we're taking on Dr. Wily with full health and full Crash Bomber energy. So let's go ahead and whip out that attack. Alright, so we got him, finally. He's dead. Fuck you. Here's that we got more to it than that. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, okay, so there's another boss battle. I I'm gonna go ahead and just play through this stage. And I got another text. Alright.
right, no music. No nothing. And a bunch of lava that will come down and get you. I don't... Okay, like... You know, I love old Nintendo sound effects, but this is annoying. Alright, and I went ahead and read forward, and Bubble Man is the final bad guy's weakness. There he is. What the fuck? Um... Alright then. Interesting. I am in outer space right now somehow. Even though the thing clearly just said I went underground. And Wily became... a fucking alien. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut to when I get back to that boss battle, excuse me. Okay, and we're back. So, yeah, sorry about that. I just didn't want to make you guys watch that whole, you know, walking through the lava things again. Alright, so we're back at Dr. Alien Wily, whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. And the only thing that can ha harm this thing is the bubble lead. Is the bubble lead lead, for some reason. I, I don't know why. Oh, go fuck yourself. Luckily, I thought ahead. Safe state. We are good. And I almost created a safe state of me dying. That's funny. Alright, so we'll whip out Bubble Man's weapon again. Alright, I was trying to read that text I got earlier. I'll read it in just a second. Okay, so this alien hits really hard, so do not make direct contact with him. And the, well, the projectiles are pretty easy to dodge, that's good. Fuck! Yeah, I spoke too soon. Uh, you know what? I want to see what this game over screen does real quick. If it takes me back to the Robot Master Rush, then I'll just go back to the safe state. Okay, it does not. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play through this, and I'll cut to when I get to the boss. Now I have full lives, full ammo. We're good to go. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and create another uh, restore point here. Uh... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, but I managed to get hit by one of those dripping lava things, so that took out a, a good quarter of my health. Alright, so now we're going to take on the alien Wily again. I really don't understand the point of this, but hey, whatever. Mega Man. It, just, Japan. That's all I can say. Japan. The biggest confusing thing I have about this, though, is why is he only affected by the bubble lead weapon? I don't understand that. That that makes absolutely no sense at all. Like, not even his Mega Buster does damage to him. So it's like, what? Fuck. It's like, what if? What if you don't have any ammo for the bubble weapon? Does that mean you just can't win and you have to get a game over? If that's the case, that's a dick move from hell. But anyway, so, like I said, the only thing that can kill this thing is the bubble weapon. The most useless weapon in the game is mandatory for you to beat the game. Yeah, you can argue that you have to get it in order to even get to this point, sure. But aside from, like, a couple grounded enemies and heat man, I never once found a use for this ability. And it just confuses the shit out of me. How... Fucking A. Restart how uh, games this old 
have weapons that you just can't use. Or you can use, but they do nothing. And my other main gripe, though, is, is uh, when I originally came to the Wily Fortress, or at least where I uh, left off at uh, the Robot Master Rush, I had four E-Tanks. I was doing good. But since my sh uh, you know, since I was going through those technical difficulties that I mentioned, I couldn't, uh, and I had to re-input a password, and I couldn't, and I lost all my E-Tanks. I swear to God, I'll beat this thing, I promise. Seems like ammo isn't even the issue right now. Like the bubble lead weapon doesn't put out a whole lot of, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot of ammo to use. But it's so inaccurate. I have I have to get up to pretty much point blank to hit this thing, and it only does like one bar of damage every time I hit. It. Projectiles hurt, but touching the alien directly hurts even more. So don't do that. Don't do that at all. I need to beat this boss like quickly. One, I need to go to bed, and two, my fucking camera's dying again. The battery, the battery in this thing just doesn't want to stay alive for very long. Ah, your mother, dude. Whatever, man. Fuck off! Thank you. 
right, sorry about that. I had to rage for a second. I'm good. I got this. I just really wish I had an E tank. <laughs> this is so hard. Why is this so hard? Yeah, I, you know, I guess this is my fault for picking, you know, the difficult difficulty setting. But still, like, this is, like, ridiculous. Like, this weapon is not doing shit, and Mega Man just can't take a hit. Oh, go fuck yourself. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm starting to get his pattern down. But it's like when you run directly underneath them, you, yeah, like that. You run the risk of that. And, God, I cannot take one more hit. I can only take, I, can, yeah, I cannot take any more hits. One more and I'm dead! I swear to god, like, this is ridiculous. Why do there gotta be so many forms of the final boss? Why can't I just whoop Wily's ass and be done with it? Alright, so... So yeah, each hit that I do to him, it only takes away one of his life bars. So I got to... It's pretty much when he swoops down like that, I... When he swoops down like that, you gotta hit him twice. And... Like I said, if you touch him directly, Mega Man takes a lot of damage. So, don't, don't touch him. So it's like, you gotta time it to where, when you hit him, it, uh... I, I can't even talk right now, I'm blinded by rage. So it's like, when he swoops down, you gotta time it to where you can hit both shots, dodge his projectile, and also not hit him at the same time. That's, like I said, yeah. these kind of games really whooped your ass back in the day. Like, gamers of today, like kids nowadays with, you know, Call of Duty and fucking all these other famous FPSs that are out right now, they don't know shit about God. So, so look, if you're one of those younger kids that just loves Xbox Live and fucking PlayStation Network, Call of Duty, and Halo, and all that, all those other famous games of today, I challenge you to try games like this. I challenge you. Like, I can't even blame my age on this anymore. This is just ridiculous. I, I think I would have had just as hard of a time with this as, a, uh, you know, if I was a kid. This Let's Play is just going on much longer than I really anticipated it to. So yeah, this is the guy's pattern. It's in your best interest to, you know, watch your timing and just do your best. Like, that's all you can do, really. It, like, like, you see what I'm doing there? I'm attacking him as he swoops up. It gives me just enough time to dodge his projectiles and dodge the alien at the same time. So, right now I got about halfway down. Doing my best here, so. Alright, cool. I missed. Oh, and heaven forbid you run out of ammo against this guy. You run out of ammo, you're fucked. You gotta redo it. My hands are sweating right now. Okay, come on, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I am sweating right now. That's how intense that was. Go fuck yourself.
I am so sorry that this Let's Play went on for longer than 25 minutes. Usually I just wanted them like 10. So if you stuck around for this entire thing, thank you. You are a truly supportive fan of Honest Biggins, and I fucking love you. Ah, oh, man. And once again, Mega Man just leaves him. You know, after all that hell that Mega Man went through, you would think that he'd have the common decency to either blow his ass into oblivion, or just call the police. Something. Anything. No. He just lets him go. So. But thanks to some call me Johnny, I've been able to find out what happens in the later stories, and he just lets him go every time. Ugh. But anyway, it's time for my overall thoughts of Mega Man 2. Alright, now, I will say, this game did not frustrate me nearly as much as Mega Man 1. Mega Man 1 was an outstanding game and I loved it to death, and that's, like I said, it's what inspired me to go ahead and play Mega Man 2. And instead of doing another review, I just wanted to follow up on that re follow up on the review with a Let's Play. So if you haven't seen my Mega Man 1 review, take a look at it, it's pretty good stuff. I, I encourage you to explore my channel, I'll be pumping out new videos all the time. It's, you know, this is something that I legitimately want to do. Doing Let's Plays is a new thing for me, and although I had a lot of fun doing this, I've noticed that I can't really give much of a commentary on the game itself because I'm focusing on it. So I'm thinking with the next Let's Play that I do, I'm gonna try post-commentary. Like, at that point, I've already beaten the game, I've got no distractions, anything like that, and I can give you guys my solid opinion on whatever game it is that I'm playing when it comes to music, graphics, whatever the case is. Uh, I will admit, doing Let's Plays is a little bit easier than doing reviews, because the editing process is a lot simpler. And But like I said, my overall thoughts on Mega Man 2 is that it's an outstanding game. If you haven't played this game yet, you need to pick it up and check it out. It's a really great title, and I really do look forward to playing uh, future installments in this franchise. It was a lot of fun, and I cannot wait to do more. But right now, I'm a little Mega Man out, so I'm going to be working on uh, my next coming review. I'm still not going to tell you guys what it is, so just know that it's a Sonic game. That's, that's really all you need to know. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you, uh, I appreciate you all watching this Let's Play, all uh, 12, 13 episodes that it was. I know this video was a long one, and I apologize for that. I'll, uh, I'll do my best to make sure that future Let's Plays are about 15 minutes or less. But anyway, once again, guys, thank you for watching. You all have a great night, and take care. Make sure you get Mega Man 2.